What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin, you're watching No Limits On channel from Russia with Love and today I'm going to find out which light is the best for your studio and also for the situations when you're on the go. So today we have the Aperture 100D is a pretty popular light among YouTubers and, you know, content creators. And today here we have a pretty brand new light, Aperture 60D, which is basically two times smaller. Look how small that is compared to the Aperture Amaran 100D. And also my big old Godox VL150 and I'm using it with the softbox and the light dome with the grid at 50% power. So let's get to the kits, to the pros and to the cons of each light and later on in the video I'm gonna switch to this light to use as a key light and then to this light also to use as a key so you can see the difference. And the camera is set to 5600 Kelvin and this is the color temperature all the lights are coming with as a stock. They are all daylight balanced. So guys, I have decided to make kind of a system, so there will be different categories and for the first place the light will take 3 points, for the second place 2 points and for the third place 1 point. And let's start off with the brightness. As you might have guessed, 60D gets 1 point, 100D gets 2 points and the VL150 gets 3 points. The second category is portability, because I often take the lights to the shoots to different locations and in this term the VL150 gets one point, it's a pretty bulky case and a pretty heavy bag. We'll talk about the weight in a second. 100D gets two points for portability and then 60D gets three points, because it's that compact. And now let's talk about the weight. The weight of VL150, the head itself, the COB is 1.8 kilograms and the whole package, the whole case is 7 kilograms with all the power bricks, cables, etc. And it gets one point. Aperture 100D gets two points and it's 1.5 kilos, the head itself, the COB and 3.5 kilograms, the box itself with all the accessories. And the first place and three points gets Aperture 60D with 675 grams of weight the COB itself and 2 kilograms of weight of the box. The fourth category is the box or the carrying case. 3 points gets Godox VL150 because this carrying case is just awesome, very nice build quality and overall it's a very welcome addition. And you have some additional space inside of the bag for your sound equipment for instance, so 3 points for Godox. On the second place we have Aperture 60D with its styrofoam case, it's a very nice case but you have no space for additional gear and also it's pretty tough to get the cables as they were when you bought this and it's kind of a puzzle every time. And also you cannot carry this case on the strap on your shoulder. So the 60D gets 2 points. And the third place and 1 point gets Aperture 100D that comes in the cardboard box. No comments here. The next category is the yoke itself. When we attach a light to a light stand, this point. Godox VL150 gets 3 points and the first place because it's made out of metal and it's a very sturdy connection. The second place goes to Aperture 60D, because it has quarter inch, so you can mount it straight to a light stand at first, and also it has a special mechanism for tilting, it's made out of plastic, but it's a very sturdy plastic, and you can fix your tilt angle with this accessory. And to my eye, it looks more sturdy than the yoke on the Aperture 100D that takes the third place. It's made out of plastic, and the tightening mechanism is also made out of plastic, and I think you can break it once. One more important factor is that we can work with a battery. VL150 comes with a V-mount and we can use V-mount batteries to power this on and it gets the second place, because the first place goes to Aperture 60D, because we can use V-mount with a D-tap connection to power this on, and also Sony NPF double batteries, it won't work with one battery, and the light itself will work at 100% brightness, and also we have a special adapter straight in the kit, which is great, so it gets 3 points and the first place. Aperture 100D, unfortunately, is only working with the outlet, no battery options at all, so 1 point. Then comes the Bowens mount, they all have the Bowens mount, so it's a great thing to have, especially on the 60D, which is a very small light and it could have had the proprietary mount, but the VL150 comes with a metal mount, 
and the 60D and 100D they come with plastic mounts and you have to be careful and do not put some heavy and enormously big light domes on it. To my eye the Bowens mount is more sturdy on the 100D and the 60D comes only with three pieces of plastic that hold your light dome for instance. I do not recommend using something bigger than 90cm light dome with a 60D. So 1 point for 60D, 2 points for 100D and 3 points for VL150. The next category is cable length, because from time to time we don't have an option of being really close to the outlet. Aperture 100D comes with 1.5 meter, maybe 2 meters length of the cable, which is pretty limiting. Aperture 60D comes with 4 meters length of cable, which is very nice, and the VL150 comes with 5 meters plus, maybe even closer to 6 meters, and it gets 3 points in the first place for me. The next category is the modifier that comes in a box or the reflector. All three reflectors are not really great and have some caveats, but the best one in my opinion is the Godox VL150's reflector because it has kind of even spread and less artifacts. On the second place we have Aperture 100D and it has a very pronounced hotspot in the middle, which I don't like and I would recommend using something like a frost frame to work with this reflector or to simply bounce the light off the wall or off the ceiling. And the worst hotspot is with the Aperture 60D. Look at that, it's, it's very hot. So it gets one point in the third place. The next category is the remote control and the app. Both Aperture Lights feature Cytos Link app and up to 8 different effects, such as lightning, paparazzi, etc. And the app is great and you can combine the lights into groups, etc. So it's a great thing to have. 2 points for each aperture light. Godox VL150 comes with a remote control and you can control groups of lights and choose the channel to control the lights, but it's a little bit limiting and it has no effects. So it gets only 1 point. Color accuracy CRI and TLCI index. Basically all of the lights that come out from Aperture and Godox like 2 years before that and right now currently are having good CRI and TLCI ratings. So here are the numbers on the screen and I give 1 point to each light. Ok, we saw the numbers, they are pretty identical and what if we take into consideration the real world tests. The skin test right here, as you can see with different lights, with a modifier, with a softbox and also just pointing the COBs straight at the wall. I can say that I do prefer how my skin looks with the 60D and also it has a slight magenta tint. The 100D is kind of towards green and I don't really like this greenish look. And the VL150 is kind of in the middle, it's pretty neutral and I give it the first place in 3 points. The 60D gets 2 points and the 100D gets 1 point. I have to mention that when you set your camera to white balance at 5600 Kelvin, as it advertised of all the lights we have here, 5600 Kelvin, we do get slightly warmer picture and I would suggest using something like 52 or 5300 Kelvin when using these lights. One more really important factor is the cooling system and the noise of the fan. Let's have a listen. You've heard everything, the third place is going to Godox VL150, one point, but it really doesn't irritate me while I'm shooting and doesn't produce this much noise to my needs. The second place and two points goes to Aperture 60D and the first place goes to 100D. Also I have to mention that you can attach an umbrella to both the Aperture 60D and 100D and you cannot do this with a VL150 and an umbrella is a very fast and pretty cheap way to get kind of soft light in your shot. So one point goes to Aperture Lights, both of them. So the last category for today is the price. Aperture Amaran 60D comes at $169 at B&H and it gets the first place and 3 points. 
100D costs $200, but right now on BH we have a kind of last minute saving and it costs 170, basically identical to the 60D. And it gets the second place at two points. And Godex PL150 is $400, but now on BH you can buy it for 319. So you can buy 60D plus 100D and some snacks and you'll have the price of the VL150. So it gets the third place. So guys, we have the results. The third place goes to Aperture 100D and the total number of points is 24. The second place goes to VL150 and the total amount of points is 29. And we also have 29 points for the 60D, but it costs more than two times less, so it gets the crown. So guys, you saw the results and I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did, smash the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos and hit the notifications bell. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you guys. 2022 is going to be an outstanding year, I'm sure, and I wish you all the best, guys. My name is still Alek Nikitin, still from Russia with love, and I see you guys in the next video next year. Thanks so much for watching, take care, bye.